As we move along, Conference USA Media Day, joining us now, the head coach of Marshall, Doc Holliday, also joining us, representing the defense. Always got to have the D guys on here, Jeremiah Taylor, JT, good to have you here. Doc, good to see you again. Glad to be here. Let's talk about the, the, the end of the year because it was very, very interesting. Alternated wins and losses the last six, week, uh, last six weeks of the season. How frustrating was that for you? Well, you know, it was very frustrating. And, you know, through all the years, you know, you've, got, you've got to be able to play defense at some point to win and get yourself in a situation that, that you want to be in, which is win championships. And, you know, offensively, we made some stri- we took some strides that got better a year ago. Defensively, we did, and we've got to make sure that happens this year. Well, you talk about offense, and one of the most outstanding performances I think a lot of us have seen is the quarterback, Rakeem Cato. What a great job, uh, MVP. Conference USA last season threw for over 4,200 yards, 37 touchdowns. But what stood out to me is from the year previous, his touchdown to interception ratio, how it improved. Talk about his improvement. You know, Rakeem, uh, he got thrown into the fire early as a true freshman. Mm -hmm. That's hard, you know, to play at this level when you are a true freshman. Uh, He was able to win seven games. He grew up uh, somewhat as a player and as a person, continued that growth a year ago. Uh, You know, he's, he's starting to become... Uh, now as a true junior, he's developing the intangibles he needs to lead us, and, and he's also he's become more physical. I know JT will tell you when he got there, he was a 150-pound <laughs> freshman that couldn't lift the bar, and you know now he's a 190-pound guy that's become uh, stronger, more physical, and he's starting to understand. He has a total understanding of what we're trying to get done offensively, and he's become the kind of leader that we need uh, to, to play that position. I promise I'm going to get to you, JT. But one more question about Rakeem. When I watched those last five or six games of the year. What kind of stood out to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, he was throwing the long ball better. I'm talking about like a 40-yard stuff. Did, did Cato's long ball improve last season? Well, I mean, he can make all the throws. I mean, he's always been able to make all the throws. I think getting stronger has helped him, uh, you know, throw the long ball with a little bit more accuracy. But I think a lot of it is, you know, we took more shots. Uh, you know, it's like anything else. If you don't get it done in practice, it doesn't happen in games. And we spent more time throwing and catching the long balls, and we got to continue to do that. Get a new defensive coordinator this year, Chuck Heater. Everybody remembers his name. What changes has he made, and what was the emphasis in the spring for you? Uh, he's he's uh, pretty much changed the attitude of the defense. Um, you know, coming in, uh, he he has that uh, you know that go get it attitude. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's he's changed up the scheme a little bit. Um, it's made it easier on us, but it's you know it gives offenses uh, little problems, and uh, we've been able to. Uh, play with our offense and compete with them throughout the spring. So I think we'll be good coming out August. One of the things that stands out, and this is a question for both of you, is 30 touchdown passes given up. Mm-hmm. Even though you're, you're, you're on the, in the front seven, does that challenge you even more that you can't let your cornerbacks and safeties out on an island, that you've got to put more pressure on guys? Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's a, that's a question for everybody. Um, we all got to step up and do our job, um, you know, with the D-line. We got to put more pressure on the quarterback and uh, make them throw it quicker, so you know our our DBs and our linebackers can go out there and make them plays, and uh, you know d- not just you know hang them out there. How much does that fall on not just the cornerbacks giving up the touchdown passes, but also getting a little more pressure? Well, yeah, there's no doubt that with you know the offenses are putting tremendous uh, pressure on the defenses, you know, throughout the country, not just not just at Marshall and in our conference, but if you look around the country today with all the up-tempo spread offenses, you know, you look at the people, you know they've got good players and people mm-hmm. are putting up big numbers. And I, I think it starts, uh, you, you had mentioned to JT about the pass rush. You know, you've yeah. got to be able to get to that quarterback uh, with a four down look. Uh, you've got to be very athletic in your second level and you've got mm-hmm. to get, you got to be able to play more than just four DBs. You've got to be able to match up versus the spread sets with nickel and even sometimes dime. And I think Chuck has brought, you know, tremendous confidence to our defense. Uh, you know, he's a coach that uh, is re- well respected throughout the country. Right. You know, he's with us at Florida and we were with Urban, and he's uh, been very, very successful wherever he's been. He's not only a great coach, but he's also a great teacher. And, and he just, uh, he's, he's, that defense has shown great improvement throughout the spring. And for us to get where we've got to go, JT and Chuck and that entire defense have to have a great preseason camp and uh, great preparation went up into that first game. Switching back to the offense just for a second, one of the, also what stands out to me is your offensive line. You've got a lot of experience on that offensive line coming back. Four seniors, four fourth-year juniors. Does that allow you to do even more offensively? Yeah. Well, you know, when I, this is the first year since I've been there that I like that offensive line, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, the first, I like, a year ago, I started liking them a little bit. The first year, I didn't like anything about them. They weren't very tough. They didn't like football. And, you know, now I think for the first time, and JT will tell you, he goes against those guys, probably the strength of our offense is not our quarterback. It's not our receivers. or It's our offensive line. And as a head coach, that's a great – 
you know, it's a great thing because it always starts up front. And, uh, you know, not only do we have five guys, I think we've got some depth there that, uh, that we can play with. Uh, Alex Mirball, who's now mm -hmm. coaching our offensive line, is a tremendous <laughs> offensive line coach. He's done a great job with those guys. And there's no doubt in my mind as the head football coach, our offensive line will be the strength of our team, strength of our offense. Now, don't go telling the offensive line that, okay? <laughs> you know, make, yeah, you know, we'll, want to keep them hungry, okay? Yeah, we will. We will. What are goals you have set for yourself this year? Uh, goals that I have set for myself is, you know, um, make my team better, um, being the leader that I'm supposed to be on this team, and, uh, you know, making sure I do everything that I have to do to make sure, you know, I pull the younger guys with me and uh, make everybody go as one. It's part of being a senior, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. You take that responsibility? You like it? Yeah, I love it. Love it. You know, I uh, came here as a walk-on and, uh, you know, was a nobody, you know, when I first got here. And, uh, you know, having to put in the work and having to earn that. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty grateful for what uh, everything he's done for me. Hard work pays off, huh? It does. Defense, DJ Hunter, new position this year? Uh, no doubt. You know, he's, he's a, a guy that had a great had, had a good season last year as a linebacker in that second level. We've had the opportunity to get him back to his natural position, which is safety, and uh, we're expecting big things out of him there. You know, with the addition of Stephon Houston, with the addition of a healthy Evan McKelvey, Jermaine Holmes, Kent Tureen at linebacker gave us the ability to take DJ from the sandbacker position, move back into secondary to get a little bit more athletic back there and uh, help us with try to get five to six DBs on the field at one time. The schedule looks favorable for you, especially the fact that you've got East Carolina at home, and that could be a little payback game coming up. I'm sure you guys are probably going to be. Yeah, we're about not that. even. I mean, we have no East Carolina's a long, long <coughs> ways. That's like next year for us. I mean, we've got so much. You know, our only concern right now is getting into that preseason, getting ready for that first game. We're concerned about one game at this point, and that's a good Miami Ohio team coming into our place, and we've got a lot of preparation, a lot of investment to get done prior to that game. So we're concerned about one thing at this point, and that's that's that first one. And you have to protect the home field. Well, you do, and we didn't do a very good job that a year ago. Up until uh, this past year, JT mm -hmm. will tell you, mm -hmm. you know, we've got one that we want to protect that M when people come in there. We didn't do a very good job a year ago. We got to get back to getting that done. We wish you nothing but the best of luck this year. Look forward to seeing you, JT. Coach Holiday, good to see you again, my friend. Thank you very much. You take care. We'll be Appreciate back with you. more. Thanks.